Welcome back. John from Acme Test and Tagging. I often get asked by potential clients and even people wanting to do some training, uh, they ask, how do I get a test and tag license or a test and tag tech, uh, ticket? Now, the short answer is you can't because in Australia there is no formal or recognised system for the licensing of test and tag technicians. Now that might come as a bit of a surprise given just how important the work is. Well, the standard AS NZS 3760 makes reference to a competent person. And in order to do test and tagging, you've got to be a competent person. And a competent person is one who can uh, undertake and do the task required within that standard. Now, the best way to do that is to do a quality course, uh, such as what we do through TATSA, Test and Tag Standards Australia. I did a course uh, over seven, uh, not seven years ago, it was 10 years ago, back in 2007, and they gave me this as a result for successfully completing it. Now, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit fuzzy, but you'll see up the top here, whoops, uh, up there, it says a certificate number. Now, that is a certificate number, it's not a license number. So what does this all mean for you as the business owner or the person, the responsible person for OH&S in your workplace? What it means is that you have to ensure that whoever is doing that test and tagging, whether it be the uh, in-house technician, one of your own staff members or a contractor, you have to make sure that they are a competent person and that they can do the test and tagging and do it correctly. So the best way is to ask them for some evidence of training. Um, now, if they haven't done a test and tag course, they may have learnt it through some other qualifications or something like that. So, but again, you need to make sure and have that evidence. Uh, if you don't do that, then you may be at risk if something goes wrong, uh, work safe, or even the courts might be coming back to you to say, well, what steps did you take to ensure that it was being done correctly and what done by a competent person? So don't put yourself in that position where you just say, look, I, I didn't know. Because unfortunately, now you've watched this video, you do know. <laughs> so I, I'm sorry about that, but that's the truth. So uh, make sure that the person doing your test and tagging, whether it's the in-house technician or the contractor, is a competent person. Ask for evidence, something like that, a little, uh, little card, maybe a certificate. Um, if you need more help or you need some, got some questions about it, shoot us a, uh, an email at Acme Test and Tagging or give us a call on 9561 1439. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care. Keep safe.